You probably clicked on this video because you're looking to start a healthier lifestyle. Whether your goal is to run a marathon, lose some weight, gain weight, or just simply live a healthier lifestyle, we have a list of five things that are gonna help you achieve these goals. So let's get into it. Starting at number one is sleeping. Sleeping is so important, guys. Have you ever waken up feeling foggy or like slower to react to things? This is probably due to the lack of sleep. If you want to wake up feeling alert and ready to take on the day, then you have to make sure you're getting enough sleep. Listen, prioritize your sleep and you'll start to realize how much better you feel, especially when running on seven to eight hours of sleep, which is recommended by the National Sleep Foundation. Coming at number two is setting goals and holding yourself accountable. Nowadays, it's so much easier to do both these things because of the technology that's in front of us. Holding yourself accountable can help with completing your goals and also developing self-management skills. Regardless of the type of work you do, accountability can be an awesome tool for career development. So what I like to do is I write my goals down, whether that's on my personal journal or on a whiteboard that I have hung up in my room. Those goals can be from either your weekly goals, your monthly goals, or even yearly. Unsure where to start? Well, you probably kicked on this video with a goal in mind of starting a healthier lifestyle. So how about you start there? By the way, if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. It helps me create more videos like this and it pushes my video up on the algorithm. A super helpful gadget to keep track of all your goals is a smart watch. I personally love the Apple Watch. I literally wear this thing everywhere. This is one of the best watches to set goals, keep track of your workouts like cycling, running, lifting, and so much more. At the end of the day, you'll be proud to see how many calories you burned after your killer workout. Tip number one was sleep, right? Well, the Apple Watch also helps you keep track of that. There's tons of different apps out there if you guys wanna do some research. I'll link my favorite one down below. Coming at number three is work out regularly. And yes, this can sound boring or like a burden to some, but it doesn't have to be. You can actually make it fun, whether that's through boxing, running, hitting the gym, cycling, even rock climbing. Personally, I like to work out five to six days a week, and this will consist of either hitting the gym, going for runs, going for walks even, and sometimes rock climbing on the occasional day. My recommendation is to start small and scale up. First week, you'll work out one to two times. Second week, you'll work out two to three times, and so on. The goal here is to start slow, enjoy the process, and at least do it three times a week. If you're interested in my workout routine or what's helped me stay in shape over the last seven years, then I'll link my workout routine in the description below. Coming at number four is prioritizing your mental health. And this is just as important as taking care of your body, if not more and it's not as hard as you would think. Listen, yes, I love grinding and chasing that dough, but I also know when to take breaks. Life is about balance and you don't wanna work yourself into the ground. Make time for yourself and make time for others. Something I've been doing for a while now is I'll go for some nice long walks, enjoying the beautiful weather in New York City while I listen to some podcasts or audiobooks. There's also tons of studies out there proving that soaking up the sun or vitamin D can help with overall mood and also improve your quality of sleep. Also, you need to start making more time for others. This includes your friends and and family. I'll be the first to admit sometimes you do get really busy and it's hard to stay in touch but I encourage you to start making more of an effort to reaching out to your friends and family. Make plans, shoot them a text, give them a call, heck even FaceTime them. Friends will help you deal with stresses of life and give you different views on whatever is going on in your head. Coming at number five, I'm sure you guys saw this one coming but eat healthier. You guys have probably heard before that abs are made in the kitchen and this is true. Listen, I don't want you to just go cold turkey and start eating chicken and broccoli four times a day, seven times a week. It's just not realistic and I don't even do that. You start by eating the right portion sizes of foods and the right types of foods. You start by substituting unhealthy foods for more healthier options. I'll give you some examples. Honey over sugar, healthy juices, water over soda, any day, coffee or tea over hot chocolate. Instead of eating sugary candy all the time, find some healthier alternatives, such as fruits and nuts, and my personal favorite, dairy-free yogurt. It's very important to always choose whole foods over processed foods. When eating healthy, you feel better and more energized. Not only that, but you increase longevity by as many as 13 years. And who doesn't want to live a longer, healthier life? All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Those are five tips to start living a healthier lifestyle and I want you to do yourself a favor. Start today, don't wait any longer. You clicked on this video with a goal in mind. It's never too late, so let's start now. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys. I've been banging out these videos weekly and I've been having a lot of fun with them. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out, peace.